I gotta go live. Since I ain't, we ain't get a chance to get no, uh, no, uh, no interviews afterwards because of the time. So I just jump on live, let everybody know. You know, that uh, folks are, and some other brothers that's, uh, you know, that's, that's out here teaching truth too. So, you know, they'll be welcome. They have to come to Brother Morris and all them. They doing a the tour too. Mm-hmm. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? Y'all doing all right? What's going on, man? Sitting here with, with our sister Sharon. <laughs> you know, she brought me out here to Indianapolis. I mean, it was a, I mean, it was rough trying to get out here. I was getting fought all doggone uh, night, trying to get on a flight out here. Supposed to have been out here uh, at least by 10 o'clock last night. I didn't get a four in the morning because of the mechanical issue with the plane, all this other stuff going on. But I see why it was a fight. Uh, we had a great, a great event, great gathering. I mean, it was some emotions shown um man teaching this truth and uh man it was it was awesome man I'm, I'm just excited about what was going on how everything went it was just phenomenal great and uh and what's man i mean he tried ralph he tried his best man and you know you know me i don't i don't get into all that that devil talk and stuff but i definitely believe that uh there was some stuff going on man because I mean, it was a rough time. This was the rough, probably the roughest uh, part of the tour, um, just getting to the city. And uh, man, I see why, but it was phenomenal. It was great. And uh, so Sharon, what's going on? You wanna you wanna talk to him about hey, how everything hello, went? Hello, hello, shalom, everybody. I had a wonderful time. I did. It was a blessing. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So what? So what was your? How? How? What, as far as the presentation, hold on. Let me. Let me. Uh, what's the name? Hold on. Let me try to get this. So I'll be getting the notifications. So what? What? What, what do you think? What was your thoughts about how everything when you put it together? The food and everything was awesome. Um, you know what? What was? Your, what was your thoughts of the presentation? Um, just the information, you know, the spirit, everything. Like, what, 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 what you thought uh, about? There was the a lot of information that was shared. Uh, I even was able to get new information. Um, I think it was. I think the biggest part for me was for my family uh, to see my sister. She got a little emotional, so that was right. a good, good thing for me. You know, because that was my biggest prayer. Is that you know at least somebody would be able to accept the truth you know a lot of times truth goes out but everybody's not receptive to it right so, and that was the biggest blessing for me the truth tour was awesome in indianapolis uh he did a wonderful job as always as teacher <laughs> as instructor always do a wonderful job and nothing oh. else was there, even did okay. here for today okay. you know you know what was uh for me was the young brothers just seeing them talk, you know, respond, have conversation, just, you know, just the dialogue back and forth to talk about, you know, how them, you know, them being young brothers and some of the things they encounter. And then they was talking about, you know, the response, man, you know, um, you know, of, of being, um, have act, having action. And it's like, okay, now that we've gotten this information, you know, dealing with all these different things coming after the Bible, coming after the church, coming after the people of God. Um, now we can't just stop here. You know, the, this is this is a young brother. You know, like we can't stop here, but we gotta take what we got, the, everything, and apply it and go. We just can't wait for Christ to come back. We wait for Him to come back, but we also have to do something ourselves. And I think that was um, that was an awesome man. That was that was thing that blessed me and then see some of the elders just talk about you know how we have to be and, and the thing is what got me was you know the elders seeing them saying you know you know the black church need to talk about this more you yeah. know we need we need to yeah. we need to have this type yeah. of conversation more yeah. you know and so when you see that when when you hearing them saying we need to hear them talk about this That's more right. we need to you have them practice and start embracing right. this That's and start right. talking about it 
And um, and then they hear that Dr. Umar Johnson came here mm -hmm. to the same venue, and it was like he had he packed it out with a lot of young people, mm -hmm. you know. And the the pastor who was there, he was like, you know, that just really, he just really, you know, he, he, his expression was it, it kind of hurt him, mm -hmm. you know, to see that all these young people, um, how many say fit in there? Four hundred. Four hundred teenagers. 400 I mean, young adults and some adults, 400 packed it out to hear Dr. Umar Johnson speak. Paid $20 to get in. Mm -hmm. They didn't get no nothing that was gonna help them, nothing at all, and he just walked out and just left pretty much. Mm -hmm. Sold a bunch of uh, mm -hmm. merchandise and shirts and books. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is that, you know, that's the thing, it's the, all that all it takes to start with, with our elders. If I, we get our elders on board and embracing this truth, right and they themselves turn around and then if you start responding, then we can all come together and build that bridge and connect. And we can take the wisdom of the elders with the strength and the fearlessness, fearlessness that we have. Cause as young people, we got a lot of zeal, but sometimes we don't have the knowledge to go with it. And so a lot of the elders don't have the zeal or the strength to fight this fight or continue on it. But we need their wisdom and we need to work together. And I think that is what's gonna help us and today I see why it was such a tough task. Mm -hmm. And even I feel even better. I'm like, man, I just just feel better, even though it was a fight and I didn't get to sleep to 5 30, turned around and jumped up at 8 30 and ate some breakfast and then turned around and we came to the venue. And uh it was just awesome and a blessing. I appreciate you for inviting me down. Yes. And I and the, 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 the person who was over it, the owner of the building, you know, they were, I mean they were blessed by it. And uh, now they want to, you know, partner up and do some things together. And I think that's the thing. And I think that's what the enemy does not want. Exactly. You know, because exactly. that's going to start breaking some strongholds and things. But yeah, this, the, 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 uh, the PowerPoint presentation, not only the information, but I think the videos that was backing up the information the with the scripture yes. Yes. was really a blessing. And, um, and the thing was, is uh, just... Because I think the second half, after we took the break, mm -hmm. is when we start really digging even more deeper, right. showing that the Bible does not promote slavery, yes. and all these different, and I think that's what started breaking down, and people started getting emotional mm -hmm. about a lot of images, a lot of the scripture, and a lot of videos. So, uh, what, 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 what you got to say about that? I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. It was a successful event to me. You know, I feel like who was supposed to be there to hear the word, right. they received it. And that was the thing that was that was liberating for me that they received it. Yeah, yeah man, that was and, and the, the thing was I think the the last video of just um showing the Israeli guy just really talking and talking about the plots of America and the plots of all these systems and all this stuff to keep a lot of truth hidden. And I think that was just the icing, the, the, the icing on the cake, the nail in the coffin. And that's what I think, that's what caused the emotion and the breakdown um, of something. I, and, and she, you know, she had to catch herself in some ways and to see her husband, you know, you know, take his glass off and rub his eyes. You know, it was kind of, it, it was a moment of just like, wow, man, this all makes sense. You know, it all makes sense. Everything just came came together, and um, you know, strongholds and different things, the powers and these principalities. A lot of these things are going to be broken and destroyed, but we just have to continue to just take the, you know, take the path and trust the Lord and let Him do what He's going to do, and uh, just be willing to go wherever He said said that we need to go. So, definitely, but definitely, uh, we look forward to. It. I just want to jump on y'all. I'm on my way, uh, headed back to the airport, and um, again, I thank I thank the Lord for you know this connection with Sister Sharon coming out here. Yeah. Things gonna be it's gonna be beautiful, yeah. and I look forward to even bringing some other brothers with me yeah. out here to teach and different things of that nature. And um, we got some great things coming up. The Lord is connecting, yes, is. connecting His children that are scattered, and um, we're coming together. So. We'll be in Richmond, Virginia, October for the James One and One Conference with brothers and sisters from all over are coming together to Richmond, Virginia. And uh, so that's exciting. 
we got a lot of other things coming up. Jacksonville, Florida, we'll be teaching the identity theft and all these uh, identity theft tools. We'll be in next weekend, we'll be in Charlotte, North Carolina to start the identity theft with me and Pastor uh, Kelly Richardson. And so, I uh, I look by the airport. All right, I look forward to, I'm gonna jump off here, y'all, cause I'm, uh, I think we get close to